guys, welcome to another episode of Horrible Decisions, and we got a whole lot of hoes in this house today. <laughs> I'm your girl Mandy V, aka Pet the Stallion, aka Mandy Baskins, aka Pegan Markle, oh, aka God. Fuck Your Nigga and Your Daddy and Your Cousin and Your, your Sister daddy. and Your Mama. I'm Weezy, Sheesh. and you know what? I'm perplexed at the fact that we have all never recorded in person, in mm -hmm. raised at separately, all. separately. There's all there was a pandemia, <laughs> but then I was in the car thinking about that, and I was like, oh shit, we never recorded. And then I was also thinking, who's a whore? Like, who's more of a whore? Out of, oh, a, out of the podcast. Out I know both of these stories. I ain't gonna like, hold you. Out no. of the podcast. Oh, out of all four of us? No, no, no. Think podcasting. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What do you think, fan? Who's more of like the whole podcast? I know, no. definitely y'all. I know, oh, oh, definitely y'all. Definitely, yeah. 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 immediately yeah. horrible no. decision. Yes. Let, me, let, let me tell you. By it's the way, in we the immediately name. real quick. So Cox this is in your name. <laughs> we don't even have is in ours. Cox. That's the problem. We just got a story. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what's crazy? What? By the way, guys, let me introduce. Y'all know these hoes already. We are joined by Medina and Kiki. Hey, y'all. Hey, from the Cocktails Podcast. Now, in terms of hoes, what? Normally, yes, like. Weezy in our live shows has drinking titty milk, has licked a boo. I was there She's for a, that. Wait, no, that's kinky though. Medina in Atlanta, Georgia, What's she about to went say? on stage and uh, said that she was fucking niggas with skid marks in their no, drawers, no, roaches, yeah. like no. mattress. We were in a pandemic, and he fooled me. <laughs> And I didn't what do you know. Mean he fooled you. I didn't, you saw the shit later. <laughs> well, he seemed homeless. Honestly, you know, like during the pandemic, you were giving so you people seem chances. Homeless and you fucked them. And you still <laughs> fucked them, bro. During during the pandemic, we thought we were gonna die. Yeah, so my you said let me fuck a homeless kid <laughs> before the world ends. He I was cute. Fuck a homeless nigga, if I cleaned him up first. And he had what? blue eyes. He looked he clean. Yeah. That makes it better. Are you serious? I told my baby he's gonna have good hair. Right. That's what made you fuck. Not the shitty man. Wait. Hold on. Wait. How did you see the skit marks? Did you tell the story in the podcast? He left the boxes. No, this down. was a live, but this, this was a live show too. Right? This was a live show, story. and no one will let me live it down. It was one time. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the more horrier. We know fucking homeless men with skit nasty. marks, bro. She pissed in a nigga's mouth. <gasps> I mean, I thought it was in a cup. No, 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 no. Even nastier. No, 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 no. He asked me to squirt in a cup so he could mix it with Ciroc, but I was not. Would you rather that. do that or fuck a shit butt? No, I would rather thank, do that. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm not fucking no shitty who booty fucked ass nigga. Shitty booty. You, you did. Oh. <laughs> what you mean, who? Wait, you saw the skid marks or you smelled it? I just it? saw a little later. Skid. Later, it was, was later. Oh, you damn. It Where was later. We saw it before. Would you have the fucked the him? The if I saw him before, I would not have fucked him. And I should have drew. I should have drawn the line when he was drinking Hennessy. Like I really. Why? I don't. Hennessy is just not a good drink. You would turn down that for Hennessy. Mm. Hennessy crazy. makes you wild, bro. You literally Do you drink Hennessy. Don't y'all don't y'all fuck like scammers and drug dealers? Isn't it Atlanta? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> she <laughs> might. <laughs> don't they all drink Hennessy? I mean, yeah. My niggas don't be I drinking like Hennessy. Hennessy. I don't like Hennessy. I was Hennessy. at a Hennessy party the other day. Angry. And I well, was at a Hennessy, Hennessy party away. the other day. I was. Can I tell My you something girl... so fucked up I just thought what? of? When you said she likes to fuck scammers and drug dealers. So I have a date with this African dude tonight. I love them too. They're Damn. scammers. I made a joke. All of them. I don't know if he is. He's like a movie director. Oh, and I literally said, he was like, oh, I'll send you a car. I said, come on with your little scam. And he, <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> but he, he was probably a, so confused. And I, I felt like, so bad because I was like, oh, you know how I people really just say. stereotype. I just got back from Africa, from Morocco. And when I was checking in in Atlanta, you have to show them the card. It has to be physically present that you purchased the flight <laughs> with because they said there's so much scamming going on between Wait, Atlanta and Africa. And I was like, I, it was a company trip. I didn't have the card. I was like, so what's going to happen? He was like, they're going to have to come up here and show the card. They were on their way. I was like, <laughs> you're lying. I was like, but what if I was getting flewed out? He was I've like, you wouldn't be going. No. <laughs> I was like, you can't in go on the trip. Did you stay in the old you city You would think you new? were going to Both. Nigeria. We stayed in a bunch of different places. But Nigeria is different because uh, when you go to Nigeria, you have to be invited yeah. by like a local. Mm -hmm. what? So like. Yeah. Oh, bitch. That's why, to be fair, if America, if anybody is in Nigeria, you cannot be in Nigeria. So they don't, they have no tourism in Nigeria at all. If you go and visit Nigeria, you even, you have to be invited by a local and they literally have to get a document agreed to for the embassy to even allow you in when you get there. Burn a boy I want to go to Nigeria. <laughs> you do? Bad. I do. Burn a boy will have Find your, your, you your little invite then. Girl, let's you go to Nigeria? My, no, mm -hmm. I want to go. You know, Cuba, though, you have to give a reason. Like, you have to say, I mean, have y'all been to Cuba? Uh -uh. Yes. 
Oh. You remember how you had to pick, like, you, you're going for religious reasons? I was a reason. flight attendant when I went, so it don't count. Yeah, that doesn't You was a flight attendant? Yeah, for yeah. private. You said that, too. You were like, you were a flight attendant? I was a flight attendant for, like, four years. You look like one. Yeah. Did you, like, meet people <laughs> on the plane that you fucked? Well, you know, ball players and stuff don't like black girls. So oh, if I, my God. Like, did I didn't have a lot Are of success. Are you serious? But, like, I was around them, and it was cool, but they wasn't trying to smash. What kind of, like, yeah, like, what was, like, the route that you would take? Or you just got hired... I always wondered mean? this, like when you work for a private plane, do you work for like a company? Do people just say, I need a flight attendant, like I need a pilot type thing? How does it work? So the, the company that I worked for is called FlexJet and NetJets. And basically people buy shares I've of the Next plane. Jet. And um, whenever they need like a crew of people, the company puts the crew together, the pilot, the two pilots and then a flight attendant. Now and is then, a private flight attendant like up there or are they just kind of like, she's pretty, she can figure out how to do the seatbelt plug or do you have to really go through <laughs> Training. <laughs> you have to go through the training. Oh shit! You do, but I was saying Wait, that, so. You definitely are part of the Mile High Club, right? Tell me, you fucked I've in one of the. I've never fucked on one of the jets. I am a professional. She was working. You yeah. Were well, and working, everybody thinks being a flight attendant is a glamorous job. That shit was difficult. Your feet be hurting. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they, they make you wear heels, right? Yeah, that shit does look hard. That's mm -hmm. nuts. And also, people treat you so like you're inconveniencing them at every point, like. I, I've seen flight attendants being treated really poorly. I heard someone call a flight attendant a waitress in the sky. Ooh. Like, I mean, that is what you kind of. Oh, I go like, <laughs> right. but y'all are. But you also, know, also you know, to learn other You also things. know CPR. I mean, I guess mm -hmm. when I apply for Delta, I love to say I've done retail and bartending because that's what it is. Mm -hmm. It's customer service and serving Bro, drinks. Bro, they <laughs> literally have I, to fucking do emergency exits, figuring yeah. out how to do CPR, medical emergencies. So they do that for All one month of stuff. training in Atlanta, and then I don't know. I ain't gonna hold you. Have y'all ever heard of a plane crash and all that shit worked? What worked? All I mean, the shit there's, they been did. A, there's been emergencies no, the where they do the have to pull the slides they out. They they yeah. Need. Okay, if you land in the water, but if it's a truck, if, if, and that's the pilot's job, you land safely in the water. All the flight no, teams, the we flight attendants have to fucking open the thing get those and save those everybody. Drafts. The pi the pilots save themselves. You they don't have to worry to about land. anybody. Oh, the, it's not a wait, boat. the pilots don't have to worry about anybody mm -mm. because so, they lock the. But wait, it's not. It's not like a captain of the ship. Like you gotta go down with the ship. Like he's a pilot. Is that not the captain? Wait, wait. What? Uh, oh, y'all probably don't. Watch. Do y'all watch Curb Your Enthusiasm? Mm -mm. I've was, seen it. So what is it? He was taking a, a private char a chartered plane, and he was like, "I need everybody's weights." And they were like, "We ain't giving you our weight." He's like, "The captain asked for it." And they were like, "It ain't a captain." He's like, "Yes, it is." <laughs> oh, it's private. Shit. I ain't gonna lie. If I took a private plane, I would say cap. It's captain. Yeah, it's sexy. It's giving captain. You wasn't scared flying on that shit. I was never scared. There was probably only one time I was scared, and there was. I like turbulence. I love when it's just rocking. Why? I, like my, I just like to let my body loose, and it just be. I love how it feels, but there was, was one specific time. Then I would be nervous. You just having fun with Medina, all this shit. Are you shit. on the spectrum? <laughs> I'm sorry. I love, I love turbulence. You know when you feel like, like you're gonna fall out. It feels like, like a good. roller coaster. It feels really good. Girl, um, is this a horny thing? But like, it's gotta be. She said my, my pussy was side. getting moist by the vibration. <laughs> but there was one time when we thought we were gonna crash, and the the, 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 the she flight attendant that I was working with, her name was Julie. She starts crying and praying, and I was like, "Ma'am, you cannot do that. The people are looking at you. Could you imagine if you look at your flight attendant? She's in the I back crying and praying. Whenever it gets too tough, always look at their faces." They okay back there? Yep. Are we okay? We were not okay. We had to do an emergency landing. No, we, are, we were not okay. What? It wait, was tell us crazy. How and you I know would everybody be wants to hear y'all talk about sucking dick, but bitch, <laughs> this is an insider scoop. But wait, you would be surprised at how many people, because they have money, they're like, well, we need to get to where we're going. I have a meeting. And the pilots would be like, everybody, like, do you know that the if this doesn't go well in a flight, we're dying. It's not like we have an option when we get up there. People will demand that you take off when they can't see, when it's too foggy, when the turn. It is crazy, bro. I believe crazy. It. I mean, oh, because, I, I, I believe it because unfortunately that's what happened with uh, R.I.P. Kobe Bryant. Mm -hmm. Like yep. the, the everyone. So for the helicopter, um, there was there was literal signals for nobody to fly because of the fog. And he's like, well, we got to get to this game. Mm -hmm. It was a, it was a private chopper against wishes of everyone else. The pilot said, no, we can make it. And he ended up getting blinded because of the fog and hit a mountain and crashed.
because of the fog. Wow. I didn't know that. Fog mm-hmm. is like a real thing. I remember thing. hearing it, it and I was like, vis- that's like, what Visibility they're... is important. They still got to know where the fuck I'm to go. I'm terrified to be on a, on a helicopter again. They got the Uber helicopter I'm thing. I'm good mm-hmm. on it. Yeah, no. I'm okay. I, I don't want to try for the Hamptons this year. I'm like, ooh, I could do that shit. Okay, okay I ain't gonna lie. Have you seen people going in on Kylie Jenner for the three minute flight? I just talked to her about that. Wait, wait, what happened? So Kylie Jenner didn't want to take a 40 minute drive, so she took a three minute chartered plane. Oh, bitch. Which to me, I'm sorry. I I If I'm busy, it's her plane. And I'm not a billionaire and I'm busy. So you don't have 40 minutes to waste if you got to be somewhere. People are pissed because they, <laughs> this is what really pissed me off. This is how I know it's LA. They're mad because of climate, environmentally, yeah. she took the plane. I'm like, aren't cars bad too? They are Everything bad. Is bad. Smoking is bad. You know how much hookahs we be smoking? It's bad. <laughs> you know, wait, Yo, did y'all hear what else is bad? What? They are telling us not to eat Skittles and Starburst anymore because there are toxins that lead to cancer. Listen, everything Skittles, got a little cancer in it. I'm not about to starve. Everything. And I'm I can't snack. really remember the last time I had a Skittle, though. Me neither. I, ain't I had a Starburst like I could a live without ago. that, but you say something else. What? Starburst. <laughs> Starburst and Skittles. That shit crazy. It well, we're going to start with a little... I, I know we done chatted a little bit, mm-hmm. but we ain't got a home mail today. We are reading some questions off of mm. I'm Curious to Know. <laughs> Um, <laughs> which is y'all's card game that is sold out. So I don't know How if they're much restocking. Is it? We will be restocking. Okay. You'll yeah. be restocking? Yes, we will. Okay. So this is from I'm Curious to Know. Real quick, you guys use this as icebreakers in friendships, dating, anybody mm-hmm. new? Dating, girls' I've been night. taking it on all my first dates. I like, are you sure? Yeah. I bring it on my first dates, too. You, and I shared, me and my ex used and to love fine. card games. Okay, I'll I be real, these, though. I love card games. If someone pulled it out, it would be fucking weird to me. But then I realized, if I was on the cards... It wouldn't be that weird. You know, yeah, this is actually a flex. But I think it's so these weird. are mine. This is my face. You see it as yeah. a cartoon? It's right. Let's play. That is Do you want to play a game? This is a fucking flex. Every I time I one. start to play it with a nigga, we start fucking. I got period you blood You start on. fucking everybody. I got um, period blood on one of the cards. There's a card in there that actually says, do you want to end the game right now and have sex? <gasps> That was my idea because I was like, sometimes you don't want to do all this talking. <laughs> Let's get through it. So I pulled that card out and I save it for myself. Well, stats. I wanted to start real, That's a real good vanilla because okay. y'all are kinky ass whores. And I want to ask all of you, what is your favorite part of your own body? Mm. Um, I really love and adore my collarbones. My God. That's my favorite part of my body. Thing. Were you your really? really? Because even when I gain weight, because I gain a lot of weight in my face and I get swollen or whatever. Mm-hmm. This is the only thing that makes me feel better. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, so when I started was... losing weight, look, bitch. And again, I, I love to <laughs> dust bronzer on when them. When I had collarbones, I was so happy. You ever I, have somebody you know nibble on your collarbone? Yeah, I got them now. Bitch, I, I didn't <laughs> have them <laughs> four years ago. Have y'all ever had somebody nibble on your collarbone yeah, during sex? Good. Oh, my Not God. It's so that little... You got to bite a... Cr- like, well, push your teeth you, on well, them. Well, that don't look like a nibble. You like It's like a gently rubbing on your tooth. There's a lot of things that you said today that, <laughs> that are odd. Turbulence. Uh, Biting I, a collarbone. <laughs> and try shit it. Draws. The shit feels good. No, it's, it's giving spectrum. Kiki, <laughs> my ass is my okay, favorite part. Talk you do. Mm. And you be shaking you. that thing. You I be love to shake it. it. I'd be I embarrassed do. when we be on the stage and she starts Why? shaking because I don't know how to shake it. And then they all look to me like, you next? I'll be like, that's me. <laughs> you know I don't and, know how to dance. I'd really be like, man, yeah, it's not. I can't do it. And I would say mine are actually my tits. Like, because they still sit up, they're big as fuck. But like, my I friends almost and niggas, tits, but I wasn't born with. Yeah, them. you bought them. Mm. I can't wait to be but a part of it. Now, now. My she, yeah, I can't wait to be a part of it. Well, are you doing it? Yes. Oh, when? Where? <laughs> August eighth. You look August. like it's Christmas. <laughs> are you okay? Are you gonna do silicone? Yes. Good. Yes. Don't do saline. Everybody be saying, "Oh, it's healthier if they burst in your body." Bro, we've done drugs before. Well, like, can, well yeah, we're fine. Well, I'm getting bursting. Your body the, is still burning. The gummy, gummy bear implant. So they said if it does burst, it's like a gummy bear. Nothing spills. It's not that bad. I'm excited. Lord. But um, are you going under the muscle? Yes. So under the muscle for anybody listening, because people will say like, oh, like I couldn't tell or whatever. It's because my real boob is in the front. Mm. That's how mine's going to be. Mm-hmm. And mine just sitting here heavy. These and are period tits, none. by the way. So if you're watching on YouTube and you're thinking nasty thoughts, these are period ass titties. I love well, you period, period titties. Is it on these cards? The period blood was on? No, I wish. Maybe I could sell them. Hello. No, I the would period hope, drop these blood. are my cards. Oh. Oh. Bitch, there ain't no period blood on what? my cards. Put your blood on the card. Last, Somebody last one. I do want to know, because I'm, I'm, like, I'm sure y'all have stories. Have you ever used food during sex? Ah. Uh, I don't really like. I got a sensitive vagina. Yeah, I, I've tried <laughs> it like, before. Like, I get BV. But I don't really quick. like it. <laughs> what did you oh, try? It's too sticky. Chocolate syrup and whipped cream. Chocolate Typical. syrup? How'd you get that? It wasn't. I didn't pick it. The nigga picked <laughs> it. The nigga picked it. Nesquik. 
Yeah. And I was like, I don't like this. Were you guys eating and then he got it? No. He purchased he it. He went and got it out of the refrigerator and poured it on my body. I feel like he's done that before. For sure. That's like his go-to That move. is his go-to. Somebody's going to fucking stop too. it. He's like, oh, you be doing lactose? He be like, it ain't for that. <laughs> that is his go fucking too. All right, well, we are going to get into our vanilla shit. For those of you listening to us for the first time, hopefully cocktails bring, brought y'all over, um, we are getting into our sex in the news. And for this one particularly, I wanted us to get into some shit. But... One third, actually, wait, I lied, more than half. Y'all know uh, fractions get me sometimes. <laughs> so more than half of Brits have a type that they prefer to date. Here we go. Here's, here's the one third. But a third are actually in long-term relationships with someone who doesn't fit the bill. So a study of 2,000 adults found that 58% of singletons admit they avoid dating matches that don't fit all of their chosen criteria. The biggest distinguishers in the Desirability League boil down to physical characteristics such as hair color, height, and body size. The research was commissioned by a dating app whose relationship experts said it's not that surprising that so many people have a preconceived idea about their type, but it is unfortunate that this can act as a barrier to finding love. We just went out last night, and it's very obvious to the world that I have a fucking type. So I wanted to ask you guys in dating because we're all kind of dating now, how far away you steer from your type and what your type is. I don't steer that far in the physical department. You gotta be tall. I'm not fucking no short nigga. Oh God, here they we have go. They gonna say complexes. we high <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, well, I, I can't I fuck really with I really believe that shit. My only time ever being physically abused by a man was a short man. Really? And I'm not surprised. And I just, Napoleon his complex. mother mm-hmm. told me that it was because he was short. She's like, it. I don't know why he acts like this. And talk he's about- little. I fuck no, little niggas. You, you do be fucking little niggas. I mean, it's like wait, there's actually, so many of wait, them. here's the thing. There are. You, do you have a type? Uh, so here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, my type is in the personality. So you're a sapiosexual. Mm, what's that? That's the brain. <laughs> not really. It's not really their brain. He don't got to be the smartest nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what are they like? Introverted, extroverted? No, like it's just like this. They have a certain type of vibe. Like they're very free and <laughs> and adventurous and fun, childlike, if you will. Hmm. Don't say childlike. <laughs> like, like, yeah, like, like not like they. She like they just. Old. Yeah, I like them old, but they still like they have a certain. They're still in tune with their inner child. I don't like super serious niggas. One of my homegirls recently said that she thinks she's sleeping with younger dudes, like in their 20s, because she's she's in her mid-30s. She's like, I think they're keeping me young and bringing something out of me. Mm, and really? she's like, everybody else kind of makes me feel like, you know, they want to just like lock me down and just sit in the house. She's like, of course I want marriage, but like, I don't just want to sit around. I feel like if I could settle down with a younger dude, I'll stay young. Mm. interesting I mean my ex said that we were 17 years apart Mm -hmm. and he always felt like the things that we did was like I was reviving like his young self you was reviving that nigga I was reviving the fuck out of that nigga you shut up you did too (laughs) that's not bitch (laughs) we we revived the nigga (laughs) bitch Anyway, I don't know so why anyways. when I heard revived, I thought about Kevin Samuels. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, oh Lord. Like don't... revive him from the dead. Yeah. Well, at least you okay. guys did a good job in your. I wonder pursuit. if he's up there looking like, I cannot believe up I don't there? get to. Right. That's you think what he's I down think? there? Y'all think he went to hell just for talking shit about ladies? Just for? For talking shit? Just... Do you think we can go to hell for talking shit? I think Because I'm can... definitely going oh, to hell. you're going to gasoline draw. You you're are not... too. Talking shit is talking shit. Being mean, nasty, wanting Rude. to hurt, profiting off you... of someone's pain. Yeah. Yeah. That's not yeah, evil. I do. Okay, but here's the thing. And I did look because everyone was like, oh my God, he you wasn't never... just doing that for women. But he did it to all people. He did do it to men too. He but did. that just wasn't getting him viral. So attacking women did, which is why also we see all the men are getting women to be on podcasts and say dumbass shit. Men are and try to be rude to it's, for what? It's literally battle of the sexes, but no one cared when he was telling men about themselves. Oh, wow. But I, and mind you, I am not capping or caping for that nigga. But I do think he went after both people. He was he fair did. with his it's shit just, talking. Those weren't the viral moment. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Well, I mean, but men are weird. This is how you say weird in sign language. Why do you know this? Do you, I took a sign language class. Bro. For the airplane? <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 Nigga, we're about to die. 
<laughs> get your ass through the exit because, bitch, we got to go, go crash. <laughs> <laughs> Something is wrong with y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? You just said you like turbulence. Okay, right? so wait, yeah. real quick. I gotta get a little. I gotta get a little toxic. Okay. Because mm-hmm. you know how to sign language. Mm-hmm. Would you fuck a deaf person? And how would you tell them you would fuck them without telling them? Yo, I bet it's really sexy. Body language is a universal. So you language. just gonna be like. Who would do that? I don't, I don't do think more. you would want to fuck her if she did that. I don't either. Like, deaf is easier than blind. I fucked a nigga with one leg, and it was nice. <laughs> I like have, a my new mom experience. Did, too. did he have the? Or he, he had no leg. Did he have like an extension of a leg? He had the, He had a little bit of meat hanging, <laughs> where like it was a, a little thigh, too. little meat thigh. It was good though. It was like when we fucked, he could get all the way up, up oh, in there. Yeah. It was Sorry. nice. Medina, it was, Medina, why was it like this? He was fine. <laughs> you can't, they could see you. <laughs> okay, I know that's problematic. You can't do your little nub like that. That's what she said. Oh, yeah. Dead niggas in hell. <laughs> we're all gonna, we're gonna be in trouble. We're gonna be in trouble. What with is God. that? Oh, I don't care. How, Who's gonna come get me? Did he also? <laughs> have blue, okay, Sheree. It's Sam. Who check wait, me, wait, wait. Did he also have blue eyes? What made no, you fuck a man with one leg? He didn't have. You know what? He had cancer. I wonder if he is still around. Well, I, I always thought that he lost his leg because I assumed he was a, a gangster, and I thought that he got shot. And then when he finally told me that he had a rare cancer that took his leg, I was like, "You can't be out here judging people." <laughs> You can't be you judging think he people. He was a gangster because because he had a lot of drugs in his home. <laughs> so was he using oh. them or selling them? He was selling them. Do you know oh. what this reminds me of? Do y'all remember Tiger King when there was <laughs> mm-hmm. a dude that had no legs? I just knew the tigers took him, and it, and it did. Wasn't it was like a car it did. And I remember when he said that, and I was like, "Well, that's a gag." <laughs> <laughs> the tigers didn't get them legs. So did you only fuck him once, or did you go back? We fucked a couple of times, but it was just a lot of work because he had to take his leg off. It was heavy, uh, and then. Like he wanted to hit it from the back. He had to balance on his. It was a lot. One time he went to the movies and he for I forgot something in the theater and I was like, oh, I gotta run back and go get uh, something that I left. And he was like, I can't. It's a. It was just a lot. So yeah. Did no. he feel the way that you said you had to run back to get something? <laughs> like knowing that he, he, he looked like he looked at me like he looked at me and I looked at him and we looked at his leg and I was like, I'll go get it. I'll go get it. You sit in the car. Hey, can you? Yo, speaking of one leg. I know how that sounded. But one of my favorite girls on IG, her IG is Phoenix Soul. I don't know if anybody's ever seen her. She got Uh -uh. one leg. Bro, she got one leg and something with her hands, but she's a model. And wow. I just want to say this girl is so fine. I've been following her for a year and then she finally posted something with taking her leg off. And I was like, Mm -hmm. what? You know how fine you got to be that I've seen photos of her in a bikini and I'm like, didn't see it. Didn't see it at all. Did she model for Fenty? Did she model for Fenty? Probably. Uh She is so fucking bad. And oh, wait, wait, she don't have no leg? A, what was she holding up? She was holding her leg. But what type oh, of I leg? It was, oh, oh, wow, she, she, he couldn't, she wa- moving, he couldn't walk that fast. Bro, she just so... What? Was he... A, wait, was he... <laughs> <laughs> she's really walking. Was that an edit or she was walking? She was on no, the runway. He, he couldn't yet. walk. He didn't walk fast like that. But you know what? I really want to have her on the pod because she's so fine, but I want to know, she like, very fine. How... How much are you fetishized? Because you're already hot, mm-hmm. so attention's on you. But, like, do niggas then make you uncomfortable and start being like, oh, I'm going to Did you have a fantasy of fucking a paraplegic? I did it, and I'm not going to lie. At first, <laughs> it's not a paraplegic. paraplegic. That is not oh, wait, a paraplegic. Not, that you don't know. That's you got nothing, What is that? Right? That's not a paraplegic? That's, no, that's when you can't oh. move. Like, you're from the Paralyzed. neck Paralyzed. Oh. Okay, wait, let me Google. <laughs> Your limbs are paralyzed. <laughs> we were wait, really? And now I can't. Yeah. So is he the handicap? An amputee. Oh, amputee. amputee. That's the word, bitch. My bad. <laughs> I didn't Lena. have a fetish, and quite well, frankly, I don't know what it is in cancer. Oh wow! Can't spell it. <laughs> it's a paralysis that affects the legs, pelvic or- organs, usually spinal cord injury. Amputee mm-hmm. is the word, bitch. Amputee yeah. is the word. Amputee. Did you have like an amputee fetish? I did not have an amputee fetish, and I'm not gonna lie. When when we first when he took the leg off for us to have sex, I was a little scared. Like I was scared I to see it. I was scared. I was not even that he was oh. gonna fall. I was scared to see it. Like I was just like, oh, am yeah. I gonna? See? I didn't want to offend him. I didn't know if I was gonna see it and be like, <laughs> like you don't got it. Like I just. <laughs> but it felt good when he would hit it from the back the whole time. The meat yep. was smacked my other cheek. 
<laughs> Wait, you had three hands smack in your ass? Bitch, and when he would get up in the uh, middle of the night to go to the bathroom, he would hop because he didn't feel like putting the leg That's on. That's how my mom realized the nigga had no leg. Because he hopped to the bathroom? Yeah. Yo. <laughs> he had an expensive leg, though. That thing was <laughs> From the drugs. How much, how much was it? <laughs> it was about four, a $4,000 leg. Drug you charge money. it. It's going to buy you what you want. But some of them are really cheap. Oh, you can you get can't, a $200 leg? Yeah, I think you can get an even cheaper leg. His was... There's oh, the a wooden leg, like uh, the, not the like a fucking peg leg. leg. No, it's, it's like the wooden leg, and I really like Pirates of the Caribbean. Them niggas be having wooden I mean, legs. Leg. And he stopped talking to me. I can't believe that. Wait, he stopped talking to me. Wait, he stopped fucking he you. He stopped, and I didn't and you know what. Legs. Wait, what? What did you do? I don't know. Wow. I really don't know. I'm going to try to see. You're admitting Did you to talk this? about the neat leg on the podcast? Is that yeah, why? Yeah, I talked about the oh, neat that's leg. Why, that's why he stopped so, talking to you. Did he listen? I don't think so. I don't even think he knew what a podcast was, y'all. <laughs> he was a hood nigga. <laughs> that's why I thought he got shot. That is kind of crazy, though. Yeah. Like, it just, it's like, just lie to me. Yeah. Like, whenever I talk about my jail stories with hood niggas, they be like, what'd you do? I'll be like, well, I spent so. <laughs> <laughs> But then I'll be trying to think of, like, why well, I was transporting. You been to jail? Girl, I know you've been to jail. First off, <laughs> why do you say that? It just happened this year, oh. and it wasn't even for me. Okay. Oh, that was sad. I was protecting. Uh, let's get into our hors d'oeuvre. Our hors d'oeuvre for this episode. I would love to have sex tips from the both of you. Now, although you're fighting your gay, Medina, I would mm. love for you to give us a tip about dealing with women. And Kiki, mm -hmm. you have mastered threesomes. And we get those questions <laughs> oh, all the time. So yes. these are like particular tips I want from you. So I want mm. dealing with women Wait, from you. context. Why are you fighting your gay? What's that mean? I'm not <laughs> fighting my gay. She's they, in denial. I, she's in denial. Thank you. There is a young lady man that I... <laughs> <laughs> She's been, been dealing with a stud. Nor okay. And normally when I deal with women, they're girly girls like us. And she's like a real lesbian. Like <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's like Jade. She's literally but like wait, Jade who we have. She takes her so boobs down. That we are saying this. I what know, you mean? Real We're lesbian because you got the outfit. Yeah, like she 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 takes testosterone. Like she's like a real lesbian. So like, when, like I don't think all lesbians take, take testosterone. testosterone. Yeah, is she transitioning? Is she transitioning? She said no. So why is she taking that? Because she said she likes how it makes her sound. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, it's just a lot. That it's it has since ended. But um, I'm not fighting my gay. It's just I like having sex with girls. Would okay. you, were you having sex with her the same way you were with femme women? Very different. Um, the strap on <laughs> is really, I don't like it. I really don't. I'd be laying there like, what are we doing? Like, I just feel childish. Like, you can't feel this. And like, we're both moaning, but you can't feel it. But so? Someone gives you head and they can't feel it either. But it's different. I think when, I, when I'm when i having sex with a, a penis that has a heartbeat attached to it, <laughs> heartbeat. I know you can feel how good my pussy is. And that turns me on. You can feel it getting Not wet. But what about when someone's on? like right. giving you head though and they're moaning? That's different. It's just something about the strap on. The strap. I don't like the strap on, and she really be like wanting to use the strap on. Like it is. Like it's her actual penis, and I'm in my mind like, but you can't. F Anyways, I mean, when I peg men though, like, and I've just like even fingered when I lick when I be just around a Buddha hole, my pussy will start dripping down my thigh. Why? There is, because so, and we talked about it on the pod. Sex is way more psychological than physical than we really even believe. So that's why sex is normally really good when you really like a nigga, and then once you mm -hmm. don't like that nigga, you realize, hey, your dick ain't even that good. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a lot more psychological than you think, which is also why I'm shallow. My type doesn't change because <laughs> I need to, I'm physically turned on visually and psychologically way more than physical. I'm just not a fan of believing that, like, Penetrative sex is the only way the other person can get pleasure. Right. But also, I might be gayer than you to say that. You should might really be like because... in your body and you throwing it back. There's a visual component of her strapping you on to where she feels empowered. When you're a pleaser too. Yes. Yeah. And then here you Look are judging. <laughs> okay, well give us Why a end? Because you're not gay? She she fighting the gay. That's what I said. <laughs> I can't do it. Um, but, okay, so here would be my, my tip for ladies. Okay, I eat pussy really good. Um, you are. Right. Okay. No, you, no, you're good. Okay, sorry. First of all, um, <laughs> so there is a, okay, if you use your knuckles when you're giving head to a woman, oh, I know it sounds really knuckles crazy. Where? 
You yeah. use so you you lick the clit, kind of mm -hmm. like lick around it like a little tornado. Make your tongue go like a tornado and move your head like this. And then the <laughs> opening of the vagina, take your knuckles and just slightly rub it on it, like mm -hmm. down, up and down, this and is a up new tip. and down while you're licking the clit. It is it's amazing. It feels really good, and the person really. Likes Can I it. tell you who that may be enjoyable for? Who? There's a lot of women, and we've talked about it here. There's a lot of women who don't like being fingered. Mm -hmm. So that's where you're still getting a little bit of penetration, but it's but also, it's not really. Mm -hmm. But also, it's Some still pressure. giving attention. It's still giving attention down there because mm -hmm. I've actually there's there's a few women that I know that and and of course I like to talk before it's like I don't like just mm -hmm. but I know that women don't really like some some women don't like being fingered mm -hmm. and that's where like as men if you're listening like where you may have a go to with one woman. You might need to switch it up with the next because we all don't like the same shit. I'll exactly. tell you that for sure. Mm -hmm. Like, I just, I shared a couple of weeks ago, like, I came for the first time with head. Normally, I don't like head. I like giving it. I don't really like receiving really? it. Not a head receiver. Don't give a fuck. Like my ex everything. was great at head. So I liked him eating my pussy. And then I was a unicorn in Mexico. And I came for the first time with head. From him or her? From her. See, bitches be eating pussy. Bitch. But it ain't it you. <laughs> it was, and, Shut up, and you Lucy. just so you just like fuck, like now then what is you just don't want you realize you like femme women instead of <clears throat> stud women like what what are the, what's the difference I like you? them <laughs> not the them. <laughs> trying to clean not it the up <laughs> I don't like the seriousness that it's like with girly girls. It's fun, and we're, we're having hosts. fun. We're all hosts. Yeah. yeah, but it's like with this, it was like we started having sex, and it was good sex, and then it was like you, my girlfriend now, and it was like whoa, like calm down, big dog. <laughs> no, <laughs> not big dog. <laughs> no, we no, we just having fun sometimes. I'm not your girlfriend. See, this is why people didn't really believe I was my ex girlfriend. Was she a stud? They were, no, that they were white girl. Fems. They're both femmes. No, no, she's not white. Oh. You talk. You must be talking about that Brazilian girl. Bro. She was fine. She oh, was. No, she was toxic and tried to but, sue the pod. <laughs> oh, but uh, <laughs> no, I dated someone for three years. Scissors. She's not like. Oh, no. did you ever meet her? I didn't meet her, but I saw her. She was mixed. Yeah. Okay. Um. No, she and I would go out places, and niggas just would not believe us. It hurt mm -hmm. her feelings more than mine. Like she would get super frustrated. Just what like, do you mean niggas didn't believe you because just she they, actually because they think oh you're my girlfriend this is my girlfriend I can't talk to you type shit. Oh. And she had a different experience. When I was out what with that? my girl, we just recently went on a trip, and the guys wanted to talk to me more and her. And I didn't like that. I was like, are you going to say something to them? But then it's like, what you going to say? Like, you a whole bitch like me. We going to be squaring up with niggas? Like, no. <laughs> Wait, where'd you guys go? <laughs> we were in Miami. You're her girlfriend. That's what I'm saying. That's why they had to break up. That's why they had to break up. That's why, they had to break up. That's why I had to serious. stop. Because you can do this type of stuff with niggas and it's not like, oh, I'm your girlfriend now. We just mm -hmm. doing this having fun. But I realized with women, honestly, dating a woman has really made me realize th my toxicities that I possess. Because I, I be... You don't say. A, a, a gaslighting a little bit and not being all <laughs> the way honest. And you can't do that with bitches. Like, you, they know. Yeah. 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 We do. We, we know when y'all are lying. <laughs> yeah. We know when you are... Gaslighting, mm -hmm. manipulating, all of those things, and now we have all and of we'll these. Still act shocked, like <laughs> and we'll <laughs> still what? I can't believe it. I know it. you said you don't want to be in a relationship, and I know you said that you want to be single, <laughs> and I know you said that I'm only sleeping over because you didn't want to drive me home drunk, and I know that you're talking to other bitches, but you don't want to be together. And you don't, I don't love get me, it. But you've been fucking me. You're talking to somebody else. I love you though. You know that. I hate niggas. Look. I, 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 I hate women. Why do we hate niggas for that? We should hate ourselves. We I, have to be why better. Why don't do that? I hate myself. We should hate ourselves. Bring Kevin Samuels back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, real quick, before we get into our horrible decision, give us a threesome tip because when I was even looking for home mail, uh -huh. real quick, this is home mail, y'all. We're not going to do a home mail today. Y'all keep asking how to have an MFF fucking threesome, the easiest one. God fucking damn. Please give us some threesome tips because you are the threesome queen. I don't know how it happens. Are this you a guest just star happening? queen? No, usually it's me, my nigga, and whoever. Uh -huh. But I have done the guest star. I like it both. I really like the guest star role. I don't get enough of that. <laughs> but I would say, you know, it's really important to have a nigga that's attractive. That makes things yes, way, way easier. easier. And does. I also like for them to have some money <clears throat> so they can spend it on the both of us. Mm -hmm. So both of us are feeling appreciated. It don't have to be a lot. We can just go out the night before, but it's just so much easier when you make sure that the people you're trying to connect are all attracted to each other. And don't bring your stuck-up friend. How do you... Because so, she's not going to so, do it. So how do... 
you determine, right? Again, many people send in questions all the time about setting up a threesome. How do you assure that they would be attracted to each other? Do you know the girl first? Do you know the guy? Do y'all talk about I know them both. types? Oh, you so you bring in friends. Or yes. <laughs> I don't like need help. <laughs> um, it could be a friend. It could just be like an acquaintance, like a whole friend that I know is with the shits. And then I'll call her. Like usually you should keep a couple of like club friends. Um, and the girls who like to go out all the time, especially at our ripe old ages, they're usually a lot more fun. Not ripe right. old ages. Right. <laughs> Yo, I don't know what it is with y'all too. I don't know if you do this too. I do not age myself, bro. I am not oh. that old. Okay. My back I'm hurts and that's it, bitch. Well, I got right. right. and I got sciatica. Rich, not ripe. We be growing We be growing up. I already better. said that. <laughs> Rich, not ripe. We look better. Mm -hmm. We're smarter. I'm sorry. Why right is you're ready? I didn't say overripe. You said ripe old. Well, we are To old. me, I'm actually no, mad that, like, well, we grew <laughs> up, like, where they started saying late in our teens that 30s were the new 20s. To me, 30s are your better 20s. 20s mm -hmm. to me is it's so you're figuring emotional. shit out, you're emotional, you're broke, you have roommates, <clears throat> you may still be living with your parents. 30, you're, you still look Life goddamn, is good right if now. Not, 30 is to me has been way better than my 20s. I was going to stay here and I'm in only, the 30s. And I want to stay here. I and I'm say. having really good sex in my 30s. Like, I'm having really good sex. And I don't think that we thought that that was a thing. We think that, like, even, even earlier on this pod, I used to say I liked younger men because I'm like, they have stamina... Mm -mm. Bitch, that that last that ex I had seventeen years my senior. Was I love an old nigga. Down. I don't Ooh. want him too old. I don't. I actually realized What's I don't too want. Old? To, like he got an AARP card. That's too okay, old. Wait, for I don't mind do that. It. Yeah. Wait. So I right now <laughs> don't want to talk to anyone under forty. What are I would date somebody under forty. The men right I've been dating I want are older men under like forty. Thirties. I yeah. normally okay. do forty plus, forty four plus. But um, <laughs> mm -mm. right now I am dealing with a guy who's in his. 30s and I we gonna see how it works out they just they got too much energy <laughs> wait what is too much energy like calm down he's going he goes out all the time like I don't like that he go he's he at brunch Atlanta? on Saturday Sunday he lives in DC he just goes to all the things I'm gonna and say this much at home? that okay. I've kind of so I had this conversation <laughs> recently with someone who's 37 mm -hmm. and he's like bro like I don't wanna be like 40 years old fucking he lives in LA like going to fucking Delilah every Sunday like mm -hmm. I don't wanna be that person but mm -hmm. when you're single and you're going out with your friends like what are you supposed to do these niggas are working hard mm -hmm. like this is their leisure in a way like mm -hmm. yeah you don't want a dude who's like always in the club but I don't mind a dude that's like active mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying like I know niggas I mean that are going doing dinners with their friends or having drinks or going wherever like I don't I think that's bad. I don't think that's bad either. Being active and just going to every party, I don't go to all the parties. Like, okay. When I do have my moments of going out, I want to go out. Because you but said I, brunch every Sunday. You but I'm not going to brunch every Sunday. Brunch every Sunday is bad. That's a routine for a lot of people. And that's it, the is. Way it is. And it's to to the people that like that. It's not bad. Do your things. But if you work on the couch, like the 4 a.m. every weekend. So you don't, you don't want to the 4 a.m. and be outside? Not all the time. You can step out on the patio every now and again. But, uh, <laughs> I don't want to be outside with my niggas. I like it. Away. Yeah, and I don't think it's a bad yeah. thing. It's just I would like to do something else. Yeah. So, like, mm -hmm. I guess there's just other activities I want to do other Besides than the party vibe. smoke hookah and drink Casamigos. Yeah. That does get on my nerves. Mm -hmm. Like, I do, like, do. appreciate a dude that's like, this is going on. Here's what's going on this weekend. Yes. Da, da, da. That's different. I had a nigga send me a message about watering holes in LA. He's like, do you what know is that? Literally, he's like, like, yo, let's go to the beach. And he was like, I feel like every nigga goes to the beach. Let's figure something else out. And he sent me an article that had a bunch of watering holes within driving distance to LA. And he's what are water like, do you that? jump in them? Yeah. Oh. Wow. I've never heard of that. Think Me of like either. cenote, but not. Did you go? Are they no. like spring? Oh. But, but see, <laughs> <sexy. laughs> Wait, are they springs or man-made? I don't think they're man-made. I think it's like a spring type of thing. Now yeah. I'm going to say something really embarrassing. So we got up that morning. And I was like, damn, it's so hot outside. Let's just go to like Soho House so we can get like drinks. <laughs> I'll buy the water. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bitch, I'm not trying to bring the towel, jump in the hole, and get back in the car. I need to jump in that hole. All right. Well, you already have. <laughs> you and it know, sounds like she clearly, wasn't into it. <laughs> clearly, she I, jumped in with her knuckles. We're, we're, <laughs> we're ending the show with our horrible decision. Again, a couple weeks ago, I talked about my experience being a unicorn in Mexico. Medina, you just traveled as a vacation. Mine was a solo location. I wanted to talk about vacation fucking. Mm. So, Wheezy is probably currently, if you're listening to this, 
touring Europe. You've mm-hmm. talked about kind of what you wanted to do in Europe. I know you be going to Texas for some dick. So I wanted <laughs> to talk about each of our reasons for going out of town for dick. Any stories that you guys ha- may or may not have um, regarding maybe your vacation and sex. Mm-hmm. You traveling or also getting flued out. I want to talk about what vacation sex is. I was different than fucking in your house and the excitement that is aroused from it. I love vacation sex. I love hotel sex. I don't really like Airbnb sex, but like <laughs> hotel sex, you just get nastier. Like you might get some dookie on the sheets and just be Here like. Here you go. You mm-hmm. like, sh- I think you like shit, bro. <laughs> I, you might have was have just shit an fetish. example. This you is, might like scat. No, I do mm-hmm. not like scat. But if you do anal, you had a little dookie on your sheets. But you'll just sleep in it. You're just like, <laughs> I'm serious in the hotel. You're not about to get up and be like, can somebody come change these sheets? Kiki's Why not? Are you barrage. serious? Look, look, look. I'll bring them. Kiki is a barrage. In the hotel, and she was like, that's the given. <laughs> you can call oh, yeah, So yes. you, if you get calm I'm on your sheets. Judge. Wait, calm on different. your sheets. Short on your sheets. I'm You're not going to sleep in it, but not the sheet. In a it's still spot. bodily fluid. <laughs> but it's a different fluid. It's That's carrying bacteria. It's a solid. It's not a it's dookie a cream. log, you guys. It's a skin <laughs> mark. God damn. It's just a little slice of dookie on the sheet. It's not a big old You're chunk You're not going to be able to make this you okay. Slice? <laughs> you think of like a pate. Uh, right? Like the thickness. Uh-huh. I no, love, no, I, that, I just, I love that, hotel wait, sex. You be getting no, nasty. You said a crudo of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thinly. That's when it's shit thinly. Tar, sli- tar. It's but you like it because it's nastier. I like it because it's nastier. Nasty. It's fun. Nasty. Do you, do you like the shit or like piss coming out? Like you feel like, oh my God. This is like d- really dirty, nasty. Sex. No, I don't like when that happens. The time that I did get Dookie on sheets, I was embarrassed. But was it, it at a hotel? It was at a hotel. It was at a hotel. And, and did you? And you didn't? Change did they the say sheet? anything that made you feel we better? Did, not until the next day, like when room service was just gonna come, and I was just like, "Wow, we really were nasty last night." <laughs> 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 this is disgusting. Like, but it was also just sexy. Or like, do you have Did you y'all guys... slept in shit? That was the sexy part. Listener, <laughs> I'm so glad we have separate pants. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I am not about to play with y'all. Y'all be gonna... playing with us. Y'all know you nasty. Stop <laughs> lying. For shit. <laughs> shit is nasty. Than come. More than like. <laughs> Like, I like a lot of messy sex, like spit mm-hmm. and things like that, and just like fucking hair everywhere and like licking all over me. Like, bro, it's funny when Jade was on, that was our st- episode we had with um, a stud. I guess we'd call it that. I forgot what she likes to be called. Sorry. But I was talking about like rubbing my pussy on titties and shit. Like, I was fucking scissoring everything on like a girl's body. I love that shit. That to me is like, I love nasty. a nipple on a clit. Yeah. It feels so good. You okay. ever had a nipple on a clit? They just lightly... It's kind of like the knuckle thing. You ever so yeah, gently like just... You didn't do that. Mm. Um, <laughs> you didn't do that. <laughs> I like having sex out of... Out of town. I just think I feel more free. I had sex on a work trip one time. Wait. Um, would that, were you were working with them? Yeah. No. I wasn't okay. working with them. I was oh, well, just on a work... We don't care now. <laughs> we want to know how you risked your job. <laughs> no, they wouldn't How did you that. get... But it was so fun. How did I get? I, I didn't. Um, <laughs> I don't have that job anymore. But we were out of town, so I called this nigga I was fucking with in that city, and he came over, and I had some friends there, and it really just was supposed to be like a little kickback situation at the place we were at, and it really just turned into a whole porno, and I just felt so <laughs> free because what happened was You're so free. <laughs> yeah, I did because okay, so the the place had a hot tub, so we're in the hot tub. Wait, and you like Airbnb in huh? your room? Huh? In my room? No, no, no. At an Airbnb. Okay. Okay. So, um, or I think at that time, this was a while ago, was Verbo. But anyway, I'm at the house. It has a hot tub. The friends are there. We're in the hot tub having a good time. Everybody's chilling. I got really horny because that man is really fine. He has a really <laughs> big dick. And I could see that it was getting hard when he was coming over to like refill my glass. And so he gets in there and I don't know... Um, how I started forgetting that other people were there, but eventually I sit on I him. I know. Big <laughs> I sit on him, and we're like making out in the pool. And then a couple of my friends were like, "We should just let them go." I yell at one of these bitches to come back and record it. There was another girl still in the pool. Well, the the do tub. you have it? Yeah. But um, I do. Well, what but are we doing? I, they, they can't see. I'll show y'all later. But um. <laughs> I ended up sucking his dick in the pool and then I made the other girl do it and then it just turned into a threesome and I was really still directing the porno the whole time this was going on. This was a lot of fun. 
When you were sucking the dick in the pool, did you go underwater? I did, and I be thinking oh, I'm white sometimes brave. when I. You got all the way way under. Yeah, you know I be Wait, thinking I'm white. Did you hear clippings? Did you like? Were you? What that's kind of, real. I probably white? had a that moment of you. That's fun. Yeah, I don't be caring about my hair. When I'm near water, it's just like whatever. Fuck it, we here. I think I'm a little <laughs> that's mermaid. The life, that's just, that's our that's our own problem. Yeah, it is. That's the and white I gotta blood. stop doing that because the next day I look like a fucking witch, <laughs> and I was looking scary. I scared myself. I had to jump back at the mirror, and I was like, you know, you gotta fi- fix this, right? <laughs> So, you know, but yeah, it was, a, it was a good time. I think I like recording sex. You think? I don't really. <laughs> well, would you record sex, though, with like a stranger? Yeah. Really? Do, so you you invite the, the camera into the bed? Uh-huh. It's usually my idea. Hey, I know we just met, but <laughs> what, do you, what do you think like, about safety? But I haven't like, really done it much I, with I somebody say, I do, don't do know, but not, I would. But but now with introducing that, so my, my concern Ain't nobody video me because all these niggas, I know y'all talk about women all the time. These niggas have OnlyFans. They do, but was my performance good? Because I would be more embarrassed if do my performance was bad. Do you have tattoos, though, that make you visible? Like, would you be I okay? I have one. Would you be okay being on another man's OnlyFans? I wouldn't OnlyFans? be okay with oh, it, you only but have one? I only have one. Do people know it? No. Oh, bitch. I, know I mean, you know it, oh, but so everybody doesn't pussy. know it because it's not something that I really show often. You could see it, but so if you don't you be, know. Would you be okay then with a man recording you and it going on their OnlyFans? No. Okay. I mean, if it happens, it happens. And I would be upset. Don't get me wrong. But was my performance good? Because I'm going to be more upset <laughs> if I was on there sucking some black ass dick. Like, yeah, yo, what did it look when like? When I think about like a nude or like a video of me getting leaked or whatever, I think all the time like... Would I be more viol- like more mad that I'm violated or more mad if I was ugly? If you yeah. looked bad. And you're like, oh, Why for sure. You... It's the looking bad part. It's the looking bad part. Like, at this point, we've been doing this for six years where we talk about how we suck dick. Because and I'm not that right far. She sucked like, a weak dick. She did. And if Wait, that was I me, I would that. cry. Not because Hers I'm... came out? There was yeah. nothing to see. It was out. just like, Black she was sucking dick. dick. Was she laying down, though? I think she was laying down, but even still, she should have moved over. To be fair, I'm not shocked To be fair, getting face fucked takes us completely out of control. I'm not gonna lie. I'll have she wasn't getting Facebook. I like someone like sitting that. on it my face, like, let me but find it. I can't really like suck the dick how I want to suck the dick when you're sitting on my face. I d- a man sitting on your face? Oh, I love telling niggas to sit on my face. Ooh, girl. Oh, that's bitch. a lot of body. I, it is. It is really tall. Be tall, but it's okay. Their legs, they're, so they're on their knees. You're not about to suffocate me. And so they're kind of tall, so I still have to like. And they got muscle up. thighs. I love it. Oh, I love telling them. And they're gonna have that daddy long legs oh, in your face. That. I'd uh-uh. be like, sit on my face. I'm trying to find this with shit. their dick or ass. I love them and, and, and balls. His... I like. I like a man to sit on my fucking face with, with his booty hole or like his dick Bye. is down your throat. Like teasing a little bit. Do you think she was embarrassed? I mean, she was long black. China. So I don't think so. Yeah, it looks like he was standing over her. I ain't gonna Who lie. is it? I love that. I like getting videos like that. She's she like, good. one time I was gonna fuck this nigga and he had a girl over oh. there already. And so they sent me a video. And so she's sucking his dick in the video. I was like, Kiara, yeah, where you at? And I was like, bitch, I'm on the way. That was a good time. That's, that's, that, that's mm-hmm. actually the last question I wanna end off with. What? So, um, episode two of Carisha, please. Kevin Gates opened up about wanting a video sent to him of whoever he's fucking with. Fucking somebody fucking else? Fucking someone else. Oh, another woman or a guy? Or no, you don't care? no. So, like, Carisha asked the question. She she used the word cheating, but don't want to talk about cheating. She said, if I fucked on somebody else, um, would you be mad? And his response was, you ain't going to show me the video? Mm. You ain't going to let my dick get rock hard? And he pretty much let the world know that he's a man who would like to see whoever he's with fucking someone else. Has that been something asked of any of y'all? Because it has for me a lot. No, I don't think I, I, not I don't think. I don't currently fuck with any niggas that would want to see me get fucked. But the crazy thing is the more I go to the sex clubs and experience being watched, it turns me on. So I wouldn't feel disrespected if he was like, I do want to watch somebody fuck you. It makes me okay. perform even better. What about you? Um, No, I have requested those videos. I like to see You somebody. like to see your man fuck other but women. But it's not my man. But it's just someone it's you're just fucking What man. if it was your man? Then that's a little different, though. No. Okay. What about okay. old videos of him? Old videos are fine. But okay. not today. I like to see it. And I like to watch. And I just really appreciate good videos. What about you, Weezy? Is that something you would like? Um, Yeah. For okay. sure. I've done a few things like that. When I was with Loverboy, I remember he would FaceTime me because we were like so far apart. Yeah. Old Bay No, because he was just such a dog ass nigga that like no but <laughs> also like he like just really fucked me up and like has pushed me more towards monogamy 
So really, not saying I mean monogamish. Like not saying I don't want threesomes and shit. But I don't know. I mean, I think it's gonna take me a while to get over a nigga being a liar. Mm, to yeah. just niggas we, be lying. I told you, really do. We, we talked about this at dinner last night. Yeah, we were both lie. literally just in love and in relationships with liars. Why and do y'all crazy. be lying? And, and you like actually have the freedom. I was and, saying to Mandy, um, the, we were off camera. I was like, niggas don't like freedom. They they Ooh. act like they like it. And they don't mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, when men don't have like a boundary or a guideline on what they can do, just being mm -hmm. too free, mm -hmm. I think it steers them in the wrong direction and it ends up being hurtful, especially because it's such a new concept. Mm -hmm. Unless you fuck mm -hmm. with like a super woke, like dangly Aaron and Hotep nigga mm -hmm. <laughs> that just kind of gets <laughs> it is or is already tight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If they're not that type and you just intro them to just open relationships, they don't know what to do. Yeah. They don't know they the don't. honesty. I think niggas need boundaries. I, I've never heard you say that's exactly what it is. That's exactly yeah. I have a wow. married couple that I was fucking at one point and I think that she has given him rules and he likes those rules and it keeps everything fine. Wow. They need him. Mm -hmm. Obey literally said to a therapist and like it kind of pissed me off because I felt like he was blaming me. Mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. like, I don't understand how I let you have the freedom to fuck other people and you still lie. And he was like, what is the crazy. reason that you're lying? And he was just like, I guess he figured it out in therapy and like he said it to me during our closure talk. Like, I really didn't think I was doing something wrong. I just didn't want to tell you because I didn't want to hurt you. But you said you were cool with me doing it. So it was like, why do I have to tell you? Like, I just didn't know what to do. And he what? was, you know, he's in his 40s. He wasn't used to doing that. This is not giving him credit, by the way. He wasn't used to doing that. And then I guess she identified the fact that like you met this woman who you had threesomes with and also told you they knew sex wasn't a big deal. So in your brain, you're like, OK, well, I love her. So I'll just fuck other people. He just didn't know what to do. There was no rule there. Mm -hmm. wow. My only rule was communicate with me. But he still Same. felt like that was too much. I used to fuck That's with a married crazy. couple. And th the married man, like the wife knew about me. We all would go on dates together. It was really great. The husband started lying to the wife about when, how often he was seeing me. And I would, I was literally like, what is going on? Like, she's allowing you to do this and you still want to lie. And yeah. it's going to create an issue for me. They're now divorced. But it was just like, bro. Why are you doing this? That's I'll why we got to have it. a group I, chat. I actually like that. Men don't like freedom. And, they don't know and how to deal like with the idea. They, don't. they don't. They don't know what it means. That's why it's funny when like, I remember his niggas used to be like, talk about how lucky he was and X, Y, Z. And I'm like, bro, but like, are you? Like, we're constantly fighting because you do the same thing. You're not that lucky. Because mm -hmm. your friends that are in monogamous relationships are happier because their bitch ain't going the fuck off on them. Mm -hmm. And also, you don't know what to do. Wow. You know what right. I'm saying? Yep. All you have to do is tell me. That's all you gotta fucking do. I think men think we're mm -hmm. saying that. Yeah, like we don't really mean it. Like there's a repercussion. Mm -hmm. They think we lying. Like you're well, setting them up. Y'all no, are lying. We, 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 we lying. We all lying. Something is wrong with y'all. <laughs> For real, to so all the men. If you sitting next to a nigga right now, just slap that nigga upside his head. Sure. And let's end on that. Because y'all got a podcast to go yes, to. Yes, y'all have a podcast and there can to be go to nothing better WTF you can Media. <laughs> so please let everyone know where they can listen to cocktails and more of you all stories without the skid marks. <laughs> it's probably going to be some more skid marks. But we have new episodes every single Thursday. You can check us out on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. We're on Instagram at Cocktails Podcast. My Instagram is Kiki Said So. I am at Coffee Bean Bean. Do y'all have any more oh, tour dates? I was in just August? about to say that. We do. Yes. Um, not in August, but um, in September. Uh, September 24th, we'll be at City Winery in DC. DC Come on, DC. Baby. So I, love, I love DC. Mm -hmm. That's going to be very black. DC has. I love very black. DC is me one too. of our, but, like, to me, my, one of my favorite cities I've ever toured. So I'm super excited. I used to live there. And this is y'all's first time oh, in DC, shit. right? I've I I never been to DC as an adult. I, I remember like I went <laughs> as a child to visit a family member or something, but I've never been as an adult. So I'm really excited. Yeah, and we got to link y'all with the people we've been doing after parties with. They're dope. Yes, okay. please do. Also, if you guys want to bring presents, Kiki and I's birthday is in September. But <laughs> I'm our like, girl, girl. <laughs> it's the day after my me? birthday. <laughs> but I didn't say this. <laughs> girl, so September 24th up. is the day after my birthday. So you guys can bring gifts for the hard work that I'll be doing on my birthday. I, all right. <laughs> Anyways, I, if you guys are seeing, we are on a new set. That's right. We are here at Full Court Studios. If you guys want to book your slots now, check out our Instagram at the Full Court Studios. Um, link in bio. We'll send you straight to the site to book your time. We're going to be swapping between, you guys are literally heading to WTF Media Studios mm -hmm. right now um, to record with another pod that you guys have seen also here on this show. What's your podcast name again? Um, both, both sides, sides of the bed. bed. Both sides of the bed. Shout out to both sides of the bed. Um, shout out to you guys 
Thank you for coming. I'm excited Thank to see your live show. Us. Thank you for having um, us. As well. Thank you guys right? so much. And guys, make sure you stay tuned for a five-minute bonus clip from our Patreon. That's right. That's patreon.com backslash horrible decisions if you guys want bonus content. And we're leaving you guys off with that. Check that out. And this has been yet another episode of Horrible Decisions. Bye, guys.